About four years ago now, in April of 2012, I radically changed the way I was eating, and it radically changed my life. Oh, this you crazy mother! I was sitting here eating my morning watermelon breakfast, as I often do, and I realized I've never shared with you my love of watermelon, and specifically why I eat the way I do, and how much my life has changed since I've started eating this way. I've shared the story of my transformation on other people's channels, but I've never created the space to share about it on my channel, so I'm really excited to be doing that today. I'd like to preface this by saying, as always, I think that everybody is on their own unique journey, and I really encourage everyone to really follow what feels best for you. I'm gonna share about how I followed what felt best for me and what feels best for me and all the amazing benefits that I've been reaping. About four years ago now, in April of 2012, I radically changed the way I was eating and it radically changed my life. It wasn't all about diet. I don't think anything is all about one facet of health, but it was a huge game changer for me. I lost like 25 pounds, my skin cleared up, I wasn't sick anymore, I had more energy, gained more confidence, my fitness started really gaining momentum, and I was happier overall. I felt more alive, more vital. I'll start with a before and after picture so you can see what I used to look like. Growing up, I was always really into sports. I was super active, and I felt like a little uncomfortable in my body. I remember by the time I was in about fifth grade, so about 10 years old, I started to feel very aware of my body. And I was living with two people with eating disorders in my family. One of them was very underweight, one was very overweight, and I was trying to find my place there. Looking back on it, I realized I never developed a healthy relationship with food, which I think is really common these days. While I don't feel like I was overeating regularly, and I was definitely aware of food and calories, I was for sure turning to food for more than just nutritional needs and to fuel my body. And the result was that I didn't have a very healthy body. I wasn't putting the right foods into my body, so it wasn't running well. And I started to get really sick. In high school, I just had a steady string of stomach flu after stomach flu, and then I started getting mono a couple times and pneumonia. Getting into college, I, I had shingles and rheumatoid arthritis. I had migraines pretty much daily from the time I was 12 years old up until about four years ago. I had a really uncomfortable period. I had a lot of acne. Overall, I remember feeling really uncomfortable in my body, uncomfortable about my appearance, uncomfortable about the way I physically felt inside of me. With food, weight, body image being such a focal point, I became very interested early on with nutrition and calories, how to care for the body and the connection between our mental and our physical health. I played around with adding and removing things from my diet and seeing how I felt. I found out I was a lactard, as I called myself, that dairy products really didn't agree with me. And after that, that gluten wasn't agreeing with me either. I started working with a health coach and she had me keep a food diary, which was super helpful. Every day I would write down what I ate and how I felt during eating it and after eating it. It became readily apparent the things that were not working in my body anymore. After just a few weeks of doing this, I went to her in desperation saying, what do I do? I've cut basically everything out of my diet and I still don't feel good. At the time I was eating a plant-based diet that I would say was pretty low in fat and I just didn't feel great. I would still sometimes have migraines. I still felt pretty low energy. I would have digestive discomfort after eating. I just couldn't figure out what else I could cut out of my diet. And that's when she said to me, well, you could go raw. I was like, what the heck is that? So that night I began researching a raw food diet and what it was. I quickly came across Megan Elizabeth's videos and I'm so grateful for that because there's a lot of types of raw food diets and I feel like I found one that really served what I was looking for. And I made the transition overnight. At the time that basically meant cutting out grains, legumes, cooked vegetables because I was already not eating much meat, fish, dairy. I started eating just fruits and tender leafy greens and salads at night. Over time, the way I consume these foods has evolved. 
I started having a lot of smoothies when I first began. I would make more complex fun fruit meals and combinations and same with my salads and dressings at night. Now four years later I tend to just mono meal. I'll eat the same fruit for a meal. I just have a couple meals a day. My salads are really simple at night and I've picked up some tricks along the way. I was eating nuts and seeds pretty regularly for a while in small quantities but I realized that they were affecting how I felt. I would feel a little more lethargic afterwards. I would get some acne. My skin wasn't as clear. My digestion didn't feel as good. I felt dehydrated. And I also realized I was turning to them to take care of my emotional needs sometimes because they felt like a heavier food. When I went raw, lots of things started coming up. At first I just felt great. I felt re-energized. My body adapted really quickly, partially because I was so eager. I was desperate, so I felt like I would do anything. And when I found it, it felt so amazing. I was all for embracing it full on. Also, I had just been gifted a Vitamix and I was making tons of smoothies already. I loved eating fruit, so sitting down to eat a bag of grapes was already kind of normal to me and salads were a big part of my life. So I didn't have a ton of modifications to make. The increase in energy was noticeable for me right away. I remember waking up about three days in, bounding out of bed, my eyes wide open before my alarm at like 6 a.m. It felt amazing. My skin started changing pretty quickly as well. Within the first couple of weeks, I noticed under my eyes was radically different. I hadn't even noticed that I looked so tired but I had all these lines and it was kind of dark and my actual eyes themselves started to look clearer and brighter. I wasn't getting migraines for the first time. I wasn't having digestive discomfort for the first time. Before that, I just thought that that's what digestion felt like. I was having regular, comfortable bowel movements, which was something I hadn't experienced before. I had a lot of constipation. After sinking in the initial excitement, I felt a lot of emotions coming up where I had been stifling certain things with heavy foods before, I no longer had. Things were definitely coming up for a while and I felt very sensitive, but it was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted to be diving in deeper within myself and I created the space to explore what was going on for me. I already had a lot of practices in place with mindfulness, yoga, meditation, a connection with myself, a support system around me. So I feel like I had the tools to do that processing and understanding and growing to the next level. After that and overall, my moods actually stabilized. Before I had really felt moody and I gained a sense of calm, inner peace, a feeling of patience that I could stay centered within myself no matter what was going on around me. I don't think that's all the food. I think it was one element of what I was looking for and it was a crucial element. When you're not feeling good, when some of your basic needs, like putting the proper fuel in our bodies, isn't taken care of, it's really hard to be able to achieve some of the growth that we're interested in. It's hard to think about living our dreams and taking our life to the next level when we can't even feel freely healthy and vital within ourselves. I did lose a little weight, a little body fat initially. I think I also lost a little bit of water weight. For me, most of the weight loss was a lot more gradual. The most I weighed was around 142, maybe 145, I don't know, I didn't use a scale at that time, pounds. And the lowest I weighed was around 112 pounds. Now I weigh somewhere around 115 to 120 pounds probably. I feel like I was at a healthy weight at 112 pounds. I just really wanted to focus on gaining muscle and not just losing body fat anymore. As I mentioned, I had always been active, always doing a lot of sports, always moving my body. After finishing up with high school sports, I spent a lot of time at the gym and running outside. I so desperately wanted to lose body fat and I thought that the way to do that was cardiovascular exercises. While I think that they are important, they definitely didn't give me the results that I was looking for in that category. When I changed my workouts to doing more strength training and focused on building muscle, it was incredible how my body transformed and I started losing body fat easier than ever. Being consistent with putting clean, simple foods into my body, consistently moving my body, getting in strength training, and specifically moving to exercises that I love doing that didn't feel like work. When I found Acro, my body really started to change. I was playing for hours and having fun and not even realizing it. 
when I looked back at some of the moves that I couldn't do, I realized just how little muscle and how little strength I had. And I grew up thinking that I was really strong. Also continually refining what I put into my body over time has changed things. Removing nuts and seeds, as I said before, not having as much dried fruit, not many complex meals, even reducing smoothies for me has all had such a positive impact on my health overall, definitely my weight loss, definitely how I feel within myself. Shifting my focus from putting so much energy into food to putting energy into all these other areas of my life that I was eager to develop has been such an amazing experience. Everything in my life flourished and it all started transforming at the same time. My journey with minimalism, my relationships, traveling full time. I felt lighter, more free. I just wanted to keep letting go of all the stuff that wasn't serving me. There's so much more I could say about this. It's been such an exciting part of my journey. It's also just a piece of it. In my program, Simplify, which I sell on my website, I share and teach from this experience that I've gained in changing and transforming my life. I created this program so that I can share it with people like you who are interested. I do totally believe that you can transform your life and that it can help guide you. I also created a fun recipe book a couple of years ago that has recipes from when I transitioned to this kind of a diet and some of them are fun and more elaborate and some are pretty simple. You can check that out on my website as well. There's so much more I could say about this specific part of my transformation. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you want to get more one-on-one -on -one time with me or go in depth, if you're looking to do something similar, find me on my website, go to my contact me page. We can set something up. I offer chat sessions, coaching sessions. Thank you to everyone who's expressed interest in hearing about this part of my story. It's been awesome to share with you at always. I'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.